College of Men of Merit is very inspiring to me. What it means to me is uh, I'm able to reach the youth and make a difference in the community. And when you reach the youth, the youth are our future. So what I like to do is be an inspiration to the youth. I like to let them know that there are African-American successful men that are, in, that are in college and can obtain a college degree. And I, don't want, I want these guys to be inspired by guys like us and don't look and have to emulate videos and entertainers to see successful black African-American men. That's why I'm glad that you know, I'm part of Mid America and that we're setting a good example for the community, especially for our young kids. This is a brotherhood. Right here, these are like my brothers. It's not easy in college, like on your own, so you go need a brotherhood. Right here, when I'm down, Go to one of my brothers, a man of merit. They help me out every day walking around school. The first thing every one of them say, how them classes going, mm -hmm. everything. So right here is a brotherhood. We go out, help each other. I encourage everyone to have a brotherhood like this. Without man of merit, honestly, I don't know where I'm going to be today. I've been to four different colleges. All of them I haven't really excelled the way I know I'm able to do so with the support of the man of merit behind me. It's helped me excel to, to levels where I never thought I'd be able to achieve. I just got a 3.5 on my, on my GPA, and the weekly meetings, the leadership, and the supportiveness, they all got my back, and I know that they're going to be there at the end of the day and at the beginning when I wake up, and I appreciate it every day. I think that Jackson has very few black men as role models, and, and it's on us and other people to challenge ourselves to be more role models so they can see that the right way is the good way. Orlando, what's it like to be when you grow up, Orlando? I'd like to let you know that you can be whatever you like to be. You believe you can achieve virtually anything, Orlando. You know that? Yes. Okay. You look at guys like us, we're going to be the epitome of what men of men represent. You're going to see successful African-American men. And we're not entertainers. We're not rappers, we're not playing sports. I don't have anything against those guys. If they can be a success at that, that's one of education. It's essential that you get any education, you know that? Yes. I am going to be a member of college. Oh, that's great. That's great. I look forward to seeing you. Hi, my name is George Lyons, and I'm an attorney. I practice primarily in Jackson, Michigan, and Detroit, Michigan. Over the last year or so, I have had the pleasure, indeed the honor, to mentor with, lecture, and to share with the, the dynamic young men of the Men of Merit at the Jackson Community College here in Jackson County. You know, in my line of work, I see so many young African American men who are in so many ways at risk. This program, this mentorship, this attempt, a successful attempt by the administration of Jackson Community College to reach out to the African American men in the community and offer them a viable alternative uh, to achieve, to succeed, to lift themselves up is admirable. I'm proud, I'm honored to be a part of it. I wish that they were in fact there when I was a young kid. I think that the JCC, Jackson Community College, should be given all honor and been given uh, accolades for reaching out and being a positive, forward-thinking, active uh, party in assisting the African-American men of this community in lifting themselves up. I was really uh, tremendously uh, grateful for the opportunity to speak to men of merit. I certainly, uh, because of the work that uh, you, Lee Hampton, and Amy Layton have done, um, and my experiences has led me uh, to understand the importance of uh, young black men staying in college, not only staying in college, but achieving, because uh, the obstacles and the percentages are not in their favor. So the message that I wanted to deliver to these young men is to Take advantage of the opportunities that lie before you when you're a young man. Even if you made some mistakes uh, and you think that uh, opportunities are not available for you anymore, um, put it behind you. My name is John Willis, director of the Martin Luther King Community Center here in Jackson, Michigan. Uh, I work with uh, young African-American males uh, quite a bit. We're here at the center 
Uh, predominantly, 75% of, of the people that we work with are young African-American males. I uh, get a chance to interact with them quite a bit. Uh, the Men of Merit program at JCC has been a huge benefit to this community. I've had occasions to speak with them on a couple of occasions. I've had opportunity to mentor some of the young men in the program. It is a huge asset to our Jackson community. One of the largest things that we see, especially with young African American males, is that it's not necessarily perceived to be cool or to be the thing to do to educate yourself or to do things like that. So to have a group of young black men that are empowering themselves by going to school, that are sticking together, that are studying together, that are talking about some of the adversities that they have to face in school, uh, some of their experiences, relating experiences to younger uh, young brothers coming up in the community is strong for us. Uh, it's just a wonderful asset to have them here in the Jackson community. We look forward to continuing to work with the men of merit and hope Jackson Community College and other colleges around the community will begin similar programs. I have to say the biggest surprise is the retention of men of merit. They've really been sticking with it. What's the retention uh, percentages? Do you remember right offhand? 92% of the men of merit persisted from fall to winter. What would you say, Amy, was some of the, I know there's multiple phases of men of merit. We do a lot of things, we go a lot of places, but what would you say are some of the things that attribute to that retention rate being so high? I think the camaraderie of the group. I think that um, they all enjoy and value the membership and the brotherhood that they have. I think that the professionals from the community, the African American males who come in and present to them, attribute to their success. And I think that they have academic support here at the college. Absolutely. If another college was thinking about having a similar program, maybe with a different name, but a similar program, really focusing on increasing retention rates, what would you say is some of the first things that they should consider in pulling this together? I think the first thing they should do is they should have strong leadership. I think leadership is so, so important because of the, the dynamics of this group and the challenges that they face. It can, I don't think it would be successful with just like a professor or just a person assigned to teach it or assigned to direct it or coordinate it. It really has to be from the heart. Well, thanks so much, Amy, and uh, we hope all the people at the Cheetah Dream Institute with this aspect of uh, Mid-America receive something from our comments. Thank you.